for the spoiler so this is a spoiler that we picked up it's a genuine copy of a heritage obviously copy of a makeshift one uh, but it gives us the width and length so I've got some measurements from somebody kindly gave me for the end tips so what we're going to try and do is make them out of metal so I've made a wood buck former whatever you call it first um, and we're going to try and shape some metal around it hmm Okay, we've got our wood former. Oh, I've sanded the edges to give it a bit of a curved shape, a bit of a profile at the front. Um, not so much at the back, a bit more square at the back on the curved edges and a curve at the top. Uh, so the original is slightly, it's not this just flat, if you see what I mean. The outer edges are slightly thicker, the back edge is thicker to match the bits that go down into the main part of the tailgate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, use this, well, use it to do both, but create two inside edges which need to be flat because they go against the spoiler, so that'll be just a, hopefully a simple case of just forming around this and folding it over to half. The other side, we'll uh, show you later, is we'll form again around the front bit, but we'll leave the back bit until we've bent and formed the outer side of it, um, and then we'll put it back onto the former, hopefully, to form the outside. Uh, that'll all come later. GoPro works. Anyway, so what we've done is we've created a smaller template to go across it, and this will be then clamped. We'll put a sheet of metal in between, 0.9mm smooth metal, clamp this down, and then hopefully we'll just gently tap over and form the edges. So we've got two holes in here already that I've used to mount the wing on, test wing on. There's supposed to be multiple holes really for different angles. I'm still contemplating whether to do that or not. I'll just leave it as one hole for now and we can worry about it another day. Uh, but yeah, so we can drill through that. So we can put some nuts and bolts through there to clamp that. And then we can use some other clamps around here. May put some more metal on to clamp down. We just have to see how well the forming goes. Because I've never done this before, so not like this anyway. So yeah, let's drill some holes. Okay, so what have we got? We've got our former. We've got our panel, which is going to be the inside edge of the wing, so the, uh, the spawn is going to go onto this, this is a flat edge. Um, and then we've got that that will go on top, which will clamp down, and hopefully we just gently tap around and we form a good thing. So I've not done this before, I think maybe this form could have been a bit bigger now. But we'll just have to give it a go. And uh, yeah. Yep, yeah. I think what we'll do is we will drill the arc.
slightly better on that dark corner. Maybe what I should do is just keep it simpler and try and raise it, radius it more, but I think that'll work. And I've got a bit of a, a, bit of a nice curve here, so I don't know. It's not bad, I don't think. It's not bad at all. Be interested to see what happens when we mount it to the uh, other piece as well. I think I've obviously done too much on some of this, so basically we'll have to grind it off once we're happy with the thickness. You know, we could have actually maybe done more on the back, but then we do know that the, this is the inside panel of the wing. Wing goes on here, and the outer one is uh, a lot thicker at the back here, and then it tapers up to the top here. So it's got a bit more of a curvature. So I guess what we should do is make another one of them reversed and then that's those two panels done okay well we've got two sides made now well, two sides of the other sides um, so yeah so they're the inside of either side so uh, yeah looking good so we need to make two more now as I said for the outer edges but they've got a bit more of a curve to them and they get a bit thicker at the bottom here to meet up with the, the part of the tailgate so again don't have a tailgate don't have a haven't made that so we're just gonna have to guesstimate it and do our best so yeah not too bad some of the edges puckering a little bit but i think i've got past the, the curve so i think i'll be all right um we just have to do it fill it with weld otherwise at least it's still metal in it metal 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 mickey cool okay so We've got the inside edge that fits onto the wing, onto the spoiler itself. We now need to make the outside bit. As I said, the outside bit's got a bit of a curve in it. And so basically the back of it needs to be a bit thicker. It needs to be about an inch or so at the back there to the tape. But then tapers to the top again, so it's not a problem. I can go quite thin at the top. It's not really an issue as long as we keep this side flat because that's got a bolt onto the spoiler. And uh, yeah. Obviously we're going to put some supports to it at some point, but let's get the two sides done, but you know, for the actual spoiler holes. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I've done enough on the edge there, but we'll just have to see. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put it in the, in the clamp it in, we we'll fold over the front edge and the top edge and the top corner here. We can then see how it fits because as we curve this, as we curve this, 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 this edge here, or the corner, is going to move inwards. So basically what we want to do is put the curve in it first, work out where the corner is, and then we can then clamp a bit of wood down there and we can just fold the rest over. It's just a straight fold, hopefully. Um, because obviously if we just fold it exactly like we did before and then leave loads of overhang, when we curve it, it will be short here. So, uh, you know, you can, get, you can get away with it as well. We can, I'm sure we could just twist it a bit as well, but let's see if we can do it half better. All right. Okay, as you can see, I haven't done the back edge yet. As I said, it needs a bit of a curve into it. At the moment, it's still flat because of the jig. That's the inside edge. That should meet up to the corner, but then this should get a bit wider. Um, we also need to think, make this a bit thinner. I've over, obviously overlapped it, it's a bit too thick, so we need to grind some of that off, make it a much better fit. Um, so the next thing I think is to try and make a make the template for the bottom, because then we can use that to drive how we want to do it. You know, drive the shape. As I said, we need to now put a bit of a curve in this which hopefully now we've folded this edge, it sort of stays straight up here, but actually we can still put a bit of a curve in the bottom here, and that'll look good. So yeah, I think we need to make up a, a template. We can maybe even put some tacks onto it. Okay, uh, this is why I hit the mute button on all the rest of the videos. So yeah, I'm gonna have to voice over what I'm doing. So basically, creating a plate for the bottom now. These will be two studs that point through this that will then bolt to the actual tailgate. Um, I started to go with some sort of one mil stuff to start with, uh, but then I changed my mind and I picked up a bit of two, three mil, I think it's about three mil, and put a little slight, uh, well, I'll cut a bit of angle. Um, as you can see there, it's got a slight lip to it. 
So we use that to keep the inner panel straight. And uh, yeah, we'll get some tacks on it. And then we shape this, or I think I shape it first actually, we shape it to that. And there's me just using a bit of bar, which I'm going to show you later that will be used on the tailgate. So that's just the width I'm trying to get the back end. So it actually matches the tailgate later on. At the end of all this, I'm not too sure how well I did, but yeah. So I keep pointing this a bit more. Yeah, that's it. And then, and there we go. This is the other side before we bent it. We haven't curved yet because obviously we haven't made the bottom plate curved. So yeah, we'll make the bottom plate curved first and then we'll bend this across my knee. And then again, yeah, we haven't, we've left the, the rear fold as well at the moment. So we haven't folded that completely over until we know the width at the back. Be quiet, Matthew. There we go, got ourselves stellar. And where far did I jump? I started to not record stuff. So yeah, there we go, jumped right into it. As you can see there, we've put studs on it. We've curved it across and we've actually finished this one off. So I do apologize. Um, it didn't work out too bad. I think it's gonna, um, front edges and the top edges are much better than the back edges. The back edge is quite flat. So it's a lot harder or in my case to actually get a, a nice join. With obviously with a curve, you can grind it a bit. And uh, yeah, still a bit more sand enough to do on this. But yeah, you can see me liking it a lot. So yeah, a little bit of fill on it. I think it'll be alright actually. So hopefully we go in the next video. We'll uh, show you uh, how we did the other side. Okay, I've sped the next section up a little bit again. I've lost all my sound, I do apologise. So yeah, we're going to make the other side. So we've cut out uh, a flat piece, slightly oversized. Because obviously you've got to take into account the curve. Bit of a guesswork on that, but anyway, yeah. And then we clamp it between two bits of wood. One is obviously your former, so it's all got your nice curved edge on there that I've used and sanded down. Adding a little bit of extra length, I think this time, just to... And yeah. So I'm just going to drill through now where our holes are for the uh, spoiler to be used, but then we're using that to actually uh, clamp the metal together. God, I'm cack handed. Look at how clean that bench is as well. Unbelievable. Look, I'm using a block of wood. Proper tools. Yeah, bosh, there we go. There's my armpit. Should have sped it up a little bit more already. Please bear with us. I'd like to say the next video is going to be edited a lot better, but mostly not. Maybe steak and chips for tea tonight. So yeah, just give it a quick clean. Obviously you should use a deburr tool really, but why have a deburr tool when you've got an angle grinder? There we go. Pop our nuts and bolts through there. And there, put a couple of clamps on it just to help. And then yeah, we get ourselves a hammer. And just go slowly. That's what I've learned from watching YouTube. Just go slowly. Yeah, so this is, yeah, the outer edge, so we've got a lot more material at the back there, because obviously, yeah, it gets thicker later on. So, yeah, let's get hammering. Let me speed this bit up a bit. Or just leave me like that. Tap, 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 much faster. Yeah, that's good. Um, so what you're doing at the corners is you're trying to stretch it, you're trying to, there's too much metal in the corners when you go around corners, so you've got to sort of stretch it away, you've got to try and make that metal go somewhere. Which you don't think you're doing it to start with, but then once you sort of take it off and then you actually realise, you see the corners, you can see the stretched out metal anyway. So yeah, get in there on that.
Okay, that's it. We've created ourselves another base for the opposite side. This time I, put, I found a bit of angle which had a big hole in it, which was useful because, yeah, the other one didn't, and I could hear a little bit of me welding my finger around inside. So at least we've got a hole in it. We can get rid of some of the trash that we've left inside. So yeah, here we go. Just start looking at that side. We have a bit of a bend, and uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. Oh, there we go. Don't know what's going on with the time lapse there. But anyway, here we go. There we go. Get some tanks in it first. You can sort of see where I've put some strengthening inside for the actual um, holes. Sorry, I didn't show that. And uh, yeah, just doing our best to clamp it all down and weld away. Finessing it around, get some tanks just going around all the way and get lots of tanks on it. Try not to put too much heat in it, or the best I can not to put heat in it. Don't this is a random car, this will be just a small part of it at the moment. I'll go wandering off to know what I'm doing there. God knows what's down there. Come back, Matthew. Matthew? Uh, maybe I've got a phone call. Let's fast forward this bit. Okay, got rid of some of the waffle, even though I'm on the phone to someone. I'm too short. Oh, get rid of the phone, Matthew. So we're nearly there. Let's just wrap all this up. Get near the end of the day. And bosh, it's finished. Fully welded. Protective masking tape on the threads. And uh, yeah, I think in a minute it'll be time to try and bolt it to the wing and see what it's actually looking like. At this point in time, my Mark 1 Metro tailgate arrived! There it is! Came with everything, so we've stripped all the window out and everything. So this is normally made out of fiberglass on the Metro 6R4, maybe even single skin, and you bolt it to the inner skin of this, I'm not too sure, bond it. Uh, and uh, there, bang, roughly in position, held up with a piece of metal so yeah you're starting to get the idea even from this i can see it's starting to look like a metro 6r4 already uh, so thanks for everybody on the 6r4 forms who gave me some measurements and stuff i've got more measurements now for the tailgate so uh, that's still to be done and uh yeah that'll be the next stage it's looking not too bad i don't think uh, we're going to leave all in bare metal until the last minute. We're going to put some epoxy primer on it later. It'd be nice to just try and, uh, in case I've got to do any tweaks. And so, yeah, so obviously that's a fiberglass spoiler in between. Um, so, yeah, so looking good. We have the start of a 6R4. Going to be good. And there you go, you can see me. This is what that frame I was earlier. I'm going to make up a, a basically a frame support that runs either on both sides which gives me the line for the actual body kit and then we'll fill the panel in I'm not too sure how much of the original outer skin I will keep or not keep I, part of me says I should take it completely off I don't want to so I might just basically slot some holes in it and make it a bit lighter um, but as well as keeping strength there still so uh, yeah obviously going to need some holes at some point through that skin all the way through to actually be able to get to the bolts on the rear spoiler but that's it Till the next episode, where we will actually start on the tailgate. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy my 6R4 project.